Austria, medium-sized country of a long medieval history, birthplace of this bozo. Those who have visited Europe may know that the geographic landscape can at times contain hills. The rich history of the region often permits that such sites do not go underappreciated for long. So, through the last millennium or so, nearly every hill or mountain has come with some sort of decoration. There is a certain 666 meter hill in Austria, specifically a village in Tyrol when they purchased to Germany. In the year of 1938, Adolf Hitler, chief Nazi and leader of Germany for four years, had realized his main ideological goal of uniting his dictatorship and home country under one rule, just a year after the new German state in Italy had begun fighting a two-front war. However, one can only hope to rule an illegitimate empire for so long, and the Nazi empire soon collapsed as well, which left Austria and the troops guarding it in a vulnerable position. By the time the German army, or the Wehrmacht, had realized all hope had been lost, most of Western Europe was already liberated. The chief command in Berlin was casually reminded of this fact by the approaching overwhelmingly sized command of over a million men, slowly marching towards the German capital from the east. At Hitler's insistence, the command was not moved to large parts of Germany still under state control, and a leader committed suicide hours upon the Red Army's arrival in the city. Now about that hill. Atop it lay a mansion named Ittel Castle, a historic and vistular property of several centuries, renovated in the 19th century for famous pianist Sophie Mentor, and a visit place for Franz Liszt. Rarte Rubinstein and Tchaikovsky. Seized by Hitler's loyalist Schutzstaffel, or the SS, towards the end of the war, it had been renovated into a prison. The prisoners? Tennis player and Vichy sports administrator Jean Barata, former French Prime Ministers Edouard Dallidier and Paul Reynard, and the current Prime Ministers Charles de Gaulle's sister, guarded by German patrols. Although the American army had already arrived in Tyrol by the end of the war, Hitler suicided little to liberate the prisoners from the castle, now held by several dozen fierce loyalists. The castle, however, had been partially attached to the Dachau concentration camp, and many Slavic prisoners had arrived from there. Upon the camp's fierce liberation and death of its commander, the Schutzstaffel had disparted the scene and left some of the soldiers be. Earlier that same day, a Croatian prisoner had left on a journey up a nearby river. Rather than approach a city 8 kilometers, or about 5 miles away, he took the time to press 64 kilometers, or 40 miles, towards the nearest American encampment. Using the excuse of performing an errand for Sebastian Wimmer, the prison's commander, who had departed in fear of rebellion within the same hours, he found American troops and alerted them of the encampment. However, the Southwest American troops of the 6th Corps had not been designated to attack there yet, and were repelled by German loyalist shell fire from approaching the site. The situation at the prison had changed and grown dire. Soon, many of the prisoners given daily duties had armed themselves and attempted to reach a rescue, in fear of attack and being killed for insurrection. The Czech cook biked to a nearby town to contact the resistance there, composed of both a Wehrmacht and Schutzstaffel general who had defied orders. Joseph Gangi and Kurt Schrader soon arrived at the prison, although with only a couple men as personnel, as well as several tanks. Four American tanks were eventually sent toward a castle, along also with several men, and Captain John Lee arrived to relieve the prisoners, stationing his Sherman tank, the Basalt and Jenny, outside the prison, and ordering the prisoners to take up positions. Where my commander Gangi had phoned Austrian resistance in a nearby town to spare two soldiers under his compound and a teenage resistance member, who soon arrived at the castle. The French prisoners had been pestered throughout the night by a reconnaissance force, and Trader had been put in charge of protecting them from it. Lee readied his troops on a May morning, and the total defense of the castle had been estimated at three dozen armed men in total. Several hours later, nearly a hundred men of the Schutzstaffel had arrived at the hill to launch their attack against the Americans. Although the prisoners had been ordered to hide, they too fought alongside the German and American troops. As the defenders fired their last rounds of ammunition, John Lee had accepted tennis star Barathe's request for an American military uniform to run out of the castle and seek help. The sports champion had left the scene of the battle and joined with the nearby American force in contact with the defenders, the 142nd, and was recognized by a French-Canadian. The Canadian in question was known other than Quebec's future Prime Minister René Lavasquez. At around four in the afternoon, after his request, the American troops arrived on the scene and arrested the attacking Schutzstaffel group. Around 100 men were taken prisoner, and the French prisoners had been organized and evacuated towards Paris, which they reached five days later. In the aftermath of the battle, we received the Distinguished Service Cross back home. Gangle died during the battle from a sniper rifle bullet while trying to move French Prime Minister Paul Reynard out of harm's way. He was the last to die during the battle and subsequently became an Austrian national hero, with the Austrian resistance members he had organized following to establish the new country after Nazi Germany's unconditional surrender two days later. Five years later, Ittor Castle had been turned into a luxury hotel in the New Republic of Austria. 
After suffering financial difficulties of several years due to a lack of visitors, it was sold to a holding company before entering the private domain in the 80s. Since then, the battle had been unsurprisingly dubbed one of the strangest of the Second World War.